don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiari. So today is the 38th birthday of Ghanaian legend Michael Asian, the bison as he is known. And right now, Michael Asian is with FC Nordsherland earning his coaching badges. He's an assistant coach at FC Nordsherland. We are going to look at 10 memorable moments from his career as a footballer. As usual, subscribe if you haven't. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. So Michael Asian best onto the scene of Ghana football at the under 20 World Cup in 2001 where he and the black satellite were runners up in that tournament uh, for Ghana. Unfortunately they could not win the final of that tournament. To start things off with his 10 most memorable moments, we start off from his debut for the Ghana Black Stars following that successful under 20 uh, World Cup in 2001 michael asian then of corsian side bastia made his ghana debut in january 2002 against egypt in an international friendly before making his competitive debut at the 2002 african cup of nations against morocco already there were great expectations for the midfielder the previous year he had starred at the fifa world youth championship that was in 2001 guiding the black satellites to a final where they were defeated by javier saviola inspired argentina of that youth side john painso uh, john mensa derek boating sule montari and michael Lysian, who were among others would go on to become household names and guide the west african nation ghana to world cup qualification for the first time in their history while Lysian has accrued 57 international caps in the intervening years it's fair to say that his international career has been riddled with disappointment he missed out on the 2010 world cup that was Ghana's best ever performance at the world cup getting all the way to the quarterfinals through injury and neither he nor the other stars from the 2001 generation have managed to win the afcon title which ghana hasn't won in close to 40 years now the second moment of his career, highlight of his career, comes in 2004 where he won his first French league title uh, with Lyon. Now in truth, there were several moments in this year's time at Lyon which could have been highlighted here. Uh, the midfielder scored only five minutes into his Olympic Lyon debut, making the scoring against Auxerre in the Trophy de Champions match. 85 minutes later, Essien had his first honor in French football, won the French Player of the Year award and received his first World Player of the Year nomination. At the Star Geland, he played as part of a magnificent collective and while he contributed more to Lyon's 2005 Champions League triumph, that for a young player at the beginning of his career, that first league trophy in 2004 was the most important. Essien featured in a match that gave Lyon the title, a 3-0 victory over Lille and scored three goals during his maiden league one season on the run. In 2005, his third highlight of his career was his £24.4 million move to Chelsea. In August 2005, the Blues agreed with Lyon to sign the Ghanaian, a tenacious midfielder, for £24.4 million. The confirmation of the deal must have come as great relief to Asian, as he ended an extensive and often fraught transfer saga. Similarly, the fee, the most paid for an African player ever, not only confirmed Asian's place as one of the most devastating players in the world, coming as an acknowledgement for his excellent time in France. It also capitulated him into one of the most dominant English players of recent history. Essien joined the title winning team, becoming Chelsea's then most expensive signing in the process. He went on to add a new dimension to the Blues midfield. The next amazing moment, which is number four, was the World Cup 2006, uh, the last 16. Having helped Ghana qualify to their first ever World Cup in 2006, the Black Stars were delighted to have made the tournament. Optimism was dampened 
by a particularly tough first round draw in the group stages uh, where the black stars had world champions former world champions italy second place czech republic in the united states now ghana applied themselves well but they lost the opener to world champions italy who went on to become world champions once again before securing a first ever world cup win against dark horses at the time czech republic in cologne while this year uh, playing alongside steven apia was in explosive form against pavel nedved in this match the following fixture against the united states was arguably even a greater moment ACN playing as the base of the midfield delivered a masterclass and helped the Black Stars first control the game and then secure the victory in the process. He helped to guide the West Africans to the knockout stage. His performances was recognized and described by the BBC as follows. ACN's role in the battle for midfield supremacy was pivotal to Ghana's hopes. Number 5 moment was recognition. Following a stellar World Cup campaign and also winning the Premier League title for the second year in a row with Chelsea, Essien was nominated for both the Ballon d'Or and the 2006 FIFA World Player of the Year. He came in third for the CAF African Footballer of the Year and was named BBC African Footballer of the Year. It was apt recognition and celebration for one of the continent's star performers player of the season in 2006 for 2007 for Chelsea and that goal the number six moment of ACN's career at the end of the 2006-2007 season ACN was honored as Chelsea's player of the season the first African player to win that award and mind you the likes of Didier Drogba were still at Chelsea soon after this prize things began to unravel for the Ghanaian as series of injuries took away his edge during this campaign though he was fantastic the highlight perhaps was that wonder goal he scored against arsenal that shot that looked like the ball was going out before it bent at the last minute into the back of the net not only was the finish perfection the goal was important too both in terms of timing it came in the 84th minute when Chelsea were trailing and in consequence it was a late equalizer that stole a point from local rivals Arsenal. It was the first of two special Chelsea goals of the season awards that ACM would win during his time at Stamford Bridge. In 2007 as well he broke a record. At the beginning of the season Chelsea were seeking to add another record to their list of accolades. Should they beat Birmingham City at Stamford Bridge, they would break a Liverpool record that has stood for a quarter of a century, a run of 63 games unbeating at home. It was ACN's goal, powered home in the 50th minute of the edge of the box, latching onto a Sean Wright Phillips cross that gave Mourinho the victory he was looking for to take Bob Paisley's record. Two months later, ACN was once again nominated for the FIFA World Player of the Year, the Ballon d'Or, and the African Footballer of the Year award. No doubt Mourinho would have endorsed those acknowledgements. Versus Barcelona in 2009, another great moment for Michael Asian. In context, ACN's goal against Barcelona in 2009 semi final doesn't mean too much. Andres Iniesta, however, won it for Barca and saw them progress. A really, really contentious match the match was largely overshadowed by post-match fiasco of vehement chelsea complaints towards the referee however the Ghanaian's thunderbolt in the ninth minute deserves this amazing moment a real highlight of his career in both sun a technicality for the fact that for 81 minutes it looked to have seen the blues through to the second consecutive champions league a final the goal was voted as Chelsea's 2009 goal of the season it was a finish worthy of winning the Champions League a let alone Grayson an ill-fated semi-final number nine amazing moment was finally getting his hands on the Champions League trophy after heartbreak in 2008 and also missing out on the final in 2009 admittedly Asian did not play in this final 2012. He was an unused substitute. 
as Chelsea bested Bayern Munich on penalties at the Allianz Arena. Nonetheless, having delivered a fine performance during Chelsea's losing effort in 2008 and also having been present, present for several of the Blues' ill-fated appearances in the tournament finals and the semi-finals, this must have felt like the final rite of passage for a super blues team constructed by Mourinho in the middle of the last decade. In claiming the Champions League winner's medal, ACM became one of only 16 African players to have won Europe's top prize. And the final moment of his career, the highlight of his career was a 6-1 victory over Egypt on his return to form in 2013. Now, after years of absence uh, due to injury, ACN returned to the nation uh, for the first time for the final phase of the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. He made his Ghana comeback in the final group stage against Zambia before taking his place in the starting lineup for an unforgettable victory. The Black Stars were drawn against Egypt in the CAF playoffs in a match that was anticipated to be tight and KG affair. Instead, it was anything but that. The Black Stars secured an unthinkable 6-1 victory against Egypt at the Kumasi Sports Stadium, now known as the Babaira Sports Stadium, and their third spot among the global elites was secured. Essien once again meeting the nation against which he met his international debut was one of the team's star men. In a midfield with old friend and international comrade Sule Muntari, he rolled back the years to deliver a stunning performance. The Bison operated in a box-to-box -box role and the North Africans were unable to cope with his powerful and intuitive running. It was one such foray forward that prompted the panicked while Goma to put the ball into his own net on 22 minutes. Uh, much more was to follow in one of the most remarkable scoreline ever witnessed in African football. So those are the 10 most amazing moments based on an article on Bleacher Report. Great, great, great player Mike Lacian was during his playing days and these are the 10 most amazing moments of his career that highlighted his importance in football for both his club and his country let me know your thoughts on this in the comments box these are not uh, the only highlights of his career uh, there might be ones that you would have wanted me to talk about let me know in the comments box right now Michael Lysian turns 38 years today happy birthday to Michael Lysian as he is the assistant coach of FC Nonchalant we wish him the very best I'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day <laughs>